Um, okay, so you know, obviously a tough ball game out there. Uh, give Coach Fangio and his staff credit. I uh, thought they did a good job. I thought their players played hard, and uh, you know, they made some plays when they needed to in the end. So, um, you know, it was a tough game. Um, we thought our guys played hard. I thought they battled, uh, but we just didn't make enough plays when we needed to. Um, you know, I thought we started off fast, um, got going early, which was good, but really couldn't uh, sustain anything. Um, and then just, you know, in the end, uh, they were able to kind of just make more plays, create some momentum and uh, generate some plays that, um, you know, we couldn't recover from. So I think from that standpoint, um, you know, like I said, give them credit. Um, they did a good job. They coached and played better than we did today. And, um, you know, we got a lot of work to do. We got one more week coming up and, um, you know, we know that's uh, it's a busy week, but it's an exciting week for us to go back home and play against one of the best teams in the league. Matt, do you kind of feel like this was kind of a symbol of the season? You guys did play, you did come out and take the lead, you did have a chance, and it seemed like it kind of a replay of games we've seen. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't really compare them all uh, right now. I think for us, look, it's just it's what the game was, you know. Um, game was, was uh, it was hard. I thought the guys were trying to do some things uh, right. Uh, they fought from that end, but um, you know, in the end, just couldn't make enough plays. You know, that was really it. Uh, we got to coach it better. We got to play better. Um, we got to, you know, make sure we we come through in those situations where we need some plays made and and put our guys in some better situations from that standpoint to do that. Uh, you know, really in all three phases. I think it's you know it's all of it. So um, we had some good plays out there, which is positive. Um, that's for sure, but uh, not enough. What kind of lift, uh, coach, did you think you got from the, the Yeah, well, you know, it's a big point, you know, big play in the game. I thought, um, you know, Agnew did a great job. They did a great job of blocking, setting up the, the lanes, and I thought at that point it kind of, um, you know, maybe gave us a little bit of a chance to, to get ahead and get going from that aspect of it. I think the Broncos, um, you know, they responded well. You know, they came back and fought. They're, they're a tough team, too. You know, uh, Coach Fangio, you know, he's trying to do the same thing. He's trying to build a tough team, and, and that's a that's a tough team. They fight, you know, and they, they'll play 60 minutes, and, you know, we got to play 60 minutes, and, you know, sometimes in the end, um, you know, it's whoever makes more plays, and they did. Got carry on back, 10 carries, 42 yards. I know you always want to watch the tape, but just maybe first impressions of what you thought. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought he ran hard. I thought, um, you know, certainly he's he's got great vision, so I thought that was good. There was a couple of plays where I thought he saw the hole really well. Uh, some others maybe, well, you know, we'll go back and look at it on, on film, but others were, um, you know, it looked like uh, we got to read it a little bit better from that standpoint. But, um, you know, I thought those guys were, were trying to run the ball hard. Uh, from that edge, especially in the second half, when we kind of knew we needed the game to settle down a little bit, we needed to run the ball a little bit and, and kind of get uh, you know the momentum slowed down. And thought they were able to do that, uh, you know, for the most part. Yeah, is it easy or not to, to, for your team to block out, you know, draft position and all the other stuff that people talk about as the season comes comes nears an end? Yeah. Do, do you block that out? Do you um, think about the future in any sure. moment? Or I mean, I don't. Um, I think I'm I'm pretty well trained to just kind of stay within the week and make sure I'm I'm focused on the task at hand. Um, I do think that you know the the kids nowadays they get a lot of information from a lot of different sources and you know it's hard, but I think our group's been able to you know just come to work every day to understand what we got to do to get better that week and and what we got to do to try to give ourselves a chance to go out and and play well uh, on Sunday. So I think from that standpoint, um, the guys have really they've tried to block all that stuff out, the distractions. Yeah, that seems pretty Yeah. Um, well, you know, certainly we don't want to give up the points in those situations. You know, I thought uh, we had a couple key third downs where we needed to get off the field. I thought we had a couple opportunities. I think there were some penalties uh, through the course there that um, obviously kept the drives alive, kept things going for them uh, that I didn't like. Uh, that certainly, you know, hurt us in the end. And then um, execution. You know, we had some execution plays out there with some guys in different spots. Um, saw some plays they hadn't seen before. And, and uh, you know, we, we need to react better to those and do a better job of coaching them and uh, playing against those particular situations. So, um, you know, that was really it. You know, they made they made some of those big plays when they needed to, certainly. I know you always have a nice man-on mentality, but uh, how big was the loss of, of Jelani yeah. in that game? And do you have any update on Yeah. Um, you know, Jelani uh, is going to be out, you know, here for, for a while. We're going to get it evaluated when we get back. So, um, you know, that was really um, unfortunate for us. He's a tough kid. Um, you know, he came and made a good hit on the sideline. And, um, you know, just, you know, that happened. So um, certainly, you know, uh, those are hard when you when you lose your inside linebacker from, from that standpoint. Uh, those other guys have had out there. So, um, you know, there was a lot moving uh, on the fly here with those guys pretty quick, but I thought they handled it pretty well um, from that standpoint. You know, it always affects communication and alignments and all that stuff. So uh, from that aspect of it, I thought those guys, you know, they tried to do it the right way. Um, I'm not sure yet. No, I don't know.
Um, I mean, you know, for me, for from that standpoint, I, I, I don't measure it before I see it. So, you know, I think from that standpoint, um, I thought there was some, like I said, there was some plays out there where I thought he made a couple good cuts, you know, saw the hole pretty well, uh, which was good to see a lot of that come back. I thought it got better, you know, as the game went on and maybe some plays early in the game that, you know, we got to just take a look at from that standpoint. But um, again, I think those guys tried to run the ball hard in the second half. I thought that was something that we needed to do. We talked about it at halftime about trying to settle the game down a little bit with the run game and um, they were trying to do that, certainly. So what was the main reason would you say you felt you wanted to see um, as far as what? Because he hasn't played all year and the game didn't mean anything to standings, but what mm. do you think it was? Every game means something. That's why we play. That's why we come to work every day. If it didn't mean anything, then no one would show up. So it means something. It means something to carry on. I think he wanted to play. I think, you know, as a team, you know, it was great. Great to have him out there. You know, as his teammates wanted him out there. He wanted to be out there. So, um, you know, that's, that's good. It's a good thing. Any more questions? Anything else? Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.